Virgo, 441, as we start here now onto the new year overall love energy message. So something's about structure and order. There could be two specific things that you really need to play like keen, detailed, maybe tedious, looking into things, very decisive. There could be two things that you need to um, get in order in your life right now to even bring in a new person, a new start, a new chapter. This could even come with a new person or involve a new person. If you are already in connection with someone, there could be two things that you need to look at and go over with before you guys can even go to the next step. Okay? This is going to be for all Virgo placements. Let's jump into this and let's take a look. Now, for some of you guys, you could be real close to meeting somebody. All right? Or meeting um, a soulmate. This could be your twin flame as well. I am I'm getting strong soulmate energy. All right, so let's see now into the new years for all Virgo placements. What can they expect? These are general, so take what is for you, leave what is not. Virgo, make sure that you are subscribed to your areas only placements. Love tarot. All right, anywhere areas is in your chart, you can apply those messages. If you need help, cafeastrology.com is also linked below to help you with that and other things you need to know about your chart. Make sure you look at all other side placements as well to put a full story together for you. All right, general here, take what is for you, leave what is not. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, third party, sun, moon, rising. Messages for Virgo, please. For now, into the new year, Almighty, beautiful universe, and Holy Spirit, thank you for your guidance today. Thank you for your support, divine love. Thank God for giving the opportunity today for us to get the guidance that we need to seek. When He sends in the gods, when He sends in revelations, when He sends in insights. Thank you. Show us what we need to see today. For Virgo, now to the new year. There's definitely new things. I won't be surprised if an ace pops out for you. Mm. All my beautiful universe and Holy Spirit for Virgo, for the collective. All my beautiful universe and Holy Spirit for Virgo. For Virgo, all placements. What is the energy here now into the new year? What do you need to know? Something about be careful what you wish for. Okay. Ooh. We have the page of needles and we have the eight of pentacles. Okay. So someone here can already have their eye on you or you already have your eye on somebody. Okay. Somebody watches you. Whoever's watching you is very, very clever um, here. Mm -hmm. This is also someone here. I mean, this person's kind of slick. Um, you would notice clever ways about the way this person works. Somebody here even could have the job they got, they was clever about it. Everything they do is very wisely, very thought out. The strength card. Oh yeah, because this person doesn't like losing. They don't want um not to win. All they know is I heard all I know is win, win, win. That's GJ Cali. All this person want to do is win. This is a very creative person. Someone here is could be a like extreme manifestor. The magician could pop out. We got the hair front and the judgment. Someone here, judgment. Okay, they want a relationship. Um, someone here feels like this person could also feel like you're very clever, Virgo. The three of presents. Yeah, Capricorn, Tesaurus. Uh, someone here sees the fact that, you know, uh, that you are very clever or this person is very clever. Uh, the judgment is they want this. This is also someone here that could see you. Uh, you could be spiritual. Um, you speak things into existence for this person. Um, but this is someone here that feels like, you know, what they like about you or this is you liking about them when things are down. They know the right things to say to keep this going. This can even be spiritually. Um, this could be someone here. You could be going through a rough day and it's like, let me pray for you. You could be going for a rough day. It's like, but God, though, let me tell you. So just you need to keep your strength up. We, 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 let's pray because, you know, God, when God gives you challenges, when God, so you could be um, speak. Some of you guys could be spiritual speakers. You don't have to be public. You could be doing this in your own family, in your own relationships. Oh, yep, this person sees you as, oh my God, I told you an ace, the ace of needles, the empress, Aries, 
Um, you could be definitely connected to an airbender, Germanian, a Libran, or Aqua Aries. This person sees you as their empress. They want a relationship with you. Now, this person could be spiritual, but they're not um cut from the same spiritual cloth you are. You guys are cut from two different spiritual cloths. All right. Um, you you know, this person, you know, could see things like, you know, God wouldn't give me nothing I can't handle. You could be more of, you know, when we be, go through challenges and things like that, you know, that's a sign of transformation. So you guys work well together. Oh, the king of presence. And they want to offer you something. OK, hold on, y'all. I got the crawl under the table because another court fell. Wait a minute. Ooh, all right. Let's see what this is. And it came out in reverse. The Seven of Needles. Oh, okay. Now, we get to the T. Woo, yeah. See, this is... Oh, all right. So, somebody here, to be honest with you, someone here likes the fact that they you don't let them get away with shit. Some people don't understand, you know, if... Especially for masculine energy. This is not just men. This is women. I could be talking to the same sex. If they feel like they can walk all over you, they can do all this, it kind of... They lose interest. You are a challenge. You are a mental challenge. You know, you are somebody here that will call somebody out in the spirit too. Mm -mm. Nope. God said this or nope. You're really good with your intuition, your spiritual, however. All right. Because, uh, you know, uh, however it is for you. Also is what I'm seeing. Somebody here feels like that. Aqua Aries in reverse. Someone here, um, it's like they love and hate this about you though. But this person wants to offer you something. Uh, um... Now, Virgo, what in the hocus pocus? You got three people here that sees you as the empress. Um, you got somebody here that wants to make an offer, an Aries to source, uh, an offer, a provider, and take care of you. And for some of you guys, you also got a new person here. Um, there could be, and that's what I was picking up, there could be some issue that you need to learn from somebody, that you're going to learn from somebody. And it's just like, soon as you tell the universe that you've learned this lesson, you got a new person coming in. And this person is the truth. Now, with the Page of Swords and the Ace of Swords, this person, uh, someone here could be very blunt. I mean, they speak the truth. They stand on truth. They stand on what they say. Now, others of you, I got to tell you something. Someone here, every time you say something or everything you say, what might irritate, now I don't know. Uh, if this is an old person or a new person here, take it how it resonates. Because for some of you guys, you're going to resonate with one or the other or even both. Um, they look it up. They look it up. They got the receipts. They know. Now, the thing about this, some people don't mind that. And I get that. But my thing is, like, it's hard to speak to somebody and every time you know they gotta look like look like you know it's almost like well you don't believe in what i'm saying that could be an issue a challenge okay now for some of you guys you're going to resonate with this king of pentacles for others of you guys you got a new person coming in as well so it could be either or or both. There could be an ex that you're getting over for some of you guys and a new person a new cycle is coming in and that's what i was picking up all right at the beginning here All right, so let's get this angel number, and then we're going to go a little deeper. Okay, guys, so we got three. We have seven, and we have one. All right, three, seven, one it is. Okay, angel number three, seven, one is a blend of attributes and energies of threes that quality. The qualities of the number seven and the vibrations of one. Let's see what else we got. Yeah, that's that ace here, that new start. You are meant to achieve great things in life and that you should never give up on your dreams. For some of you guys, you could be having a challenge. I do see this with an X here, I'm not going to lie, and that's what I was getting. Something here that needs to be structured and ordered. Now, for someone here, you might have to really care less. And what I mean by that is quit trying to, you might be trying to prove an ex wrong or prove an ex that you're right. Who gives a damn? If they want to keep looking up, if they want to second guess you, that's it. You need to, that could be an obstacle that you might need to let go because you know what God has for you. You know what God has in store for you. You, some of you guys know the truth and it. This new person is here. It's leaving you, this could be a mindset that's leaving you stuck. 
Seven of Swords in reverse in the Page of Swords. Now, I mean, Page of Needles, which is the Page of Swords. Uh, you might know this. For some of you guys, I do feel like you are starting to, like, let this go. All right? Uh, for some of you guys, you could be also having a blockage at work. This could be a, a block. That people don't see what they don't say about uh, blockages when it comes to your abundance. It, it, it happens on many levels. That's why it can affect also your money. <sighs> okay. Now, yeah, honey, that's why there's no um, candles here. I don't see no candles. Other words, no wands. There's, this is why nothing's moving or action needs to be taken here. What do we have? Yep, the Queen of Pentacles. So we have the King and Queen of Pentacles. You have a relationship, uh, Virgo, here that it looks like it needs a breath of fresh air or it's time to move on. If, if Someone here could have trust issues. And it's like you keep proving somebody wrong and they keep on trying to prove you wrong. That's some somebody here is stuck. And if you keep participating, it can leave you stuck in the same bracket as them. You might have to move on. Um what's the seven of swords in reverse? The seven of needles. What is that? In reverse here. Oh, my beautiful angels, my spirits. That's a lot. Can I get a couple cards? I'm seeing the Queen and King of Pentacles again. Yep. This is a relationship. Some of you guys, uh, this next, uh, for some of you guys, this next relationship is a level up. What's the seven of angels in reverse? Mm. Take it out. Resonates with you. Yeah, eight of swords. Stuck. Being stuck. Yeah, the seven of swords. Somebody here might, somebody here likes to play my games. This person, whoever you are with is extremely intelligent. They know the right things to say to keep you stuck, to keep you looking or keep you something. Yeah, six of cups to keep you stuck with them Um, in the past. Someone here, yeah, I can't make this up. This person also picks fights on purpose. There's something that this person feels like they know about you. Yup, five of cups. That, you know, when it, somebody here knows your ways. They've studied you. And they know this. They know how to say to get you in your feelings. They keep they keep you. This could be someone here. It's like, you know what? I'm ready to let this go. Um, I, I'm ready for something new. I feel this. I feel like this is what God has for me. And then they say, yeah, go ahead. Run away from your problems. You don't deal with shit. That's why you're not going to have a fucking relationship. Look how you're doing with this one. And then you end up staying. For some of you guys, there's something like that here. Let's take a look at this. Show me this King of Pentacles. I want to look at this person first. Now, for some of you guys, take this how it resonates. Let's look at the King of Pentacles. And then we're going to take a look at the new person. But uh, you are the truth. So you know that someone here knows this. So that what they do is manipulate your mind. That's all they can do. That's so what what, how I'm feeling. By trying to get in your head. They know what you're speaking is facts. They know the truth about this situation, this relationship. So they manipulate it to make it work for them. That's called a shapeshifter. What's the king of pent presence? Damn. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Sneaky. It, it ain't working no more. No, knight of swords. For some of you guys, this person is going, uh-huh, this is somebody here that knows this shit ain't working no more and you about to move on. Yep, six of swords. You about to move the fuck on. They know this ain't working no more. We got the four ones, yep. Now, this is you or this person. So, this mind manipulation ass bullshit they tried to work is not working no more, yep. Mm -mm. We got innocence. Look at that. We have DK. And we have, yep, Peacock. Uh uh. For some of you guys, you are standing, they sit in your own individual. You're like, yeah, you the Empress. Here you are. Someone here knows you the Empress. They know this about you. They know this shit ain't working no more. You're the star. Uh-uh. Yep. So what they do is try to apply pressure, however that means to you. And this looks like mental spells. They get in your head. Someone here could also know you're an overthinker. So they could flood your, your mind with thoughts. Okay. 
Let's see whoever's um, resonating with this part of it. I'm going to use this deck here. All right. What's going on? Oh, no. Not this one either. All right. What's going on here with this King of Presidents? Oh, yeah. That's a lie. Woo! Yup, look at this. They're mad because you're saying fuck them. The ancestors was also guiding you through this. Yeah, this is somebody that's trying to plead to get you to stay. This person feels like playing with your head is the only way they can keep you. Is what I'm was what I'm getting. Show me some Oh shit, because you are saying fuck. That's not funny, damn. Okay, yeah, honey. And this person, magical bum, is somebody here. The truth is they're thinking about you because they know they're about to lose you. Someone here is already feeling it. You could still be connected to this person, yep, in some kind of way some or something like that. But they know this is the end. They know that they can't hold you back anymore. Nope. They could be talking to other people about this. The thing is, the truth is, you see this person's true colors for who they are. And this is somebody here, to be honest with you. You are giving this person an ego death. This person has to go through this ego death. Child, let's see what they want to say to you, honey. Mm-hmm. All right, let's see. This person wants to send in a collective. To Virgo. Ooh. Oh, wait a minute. Judgment. I'm making the decision once and for all to turn this around. I cannot make this shit up. Damn. Somebody here knows this. This is somebody that's very clever. Someone here has felt like, oh, this is you, baby. Um, that they could have studied somebody to the T. Somebody here feel like they know you better than they know than you know your damn self. And they're gonna stop you. This distance between us is killing me. You're getting more distant. You are getting more distant. Hold on, y'all. Oh. All right, we'll flip out over here. I struggle with revealing my true feelings and emotions. See, in reverse. And the reason why they struggle with this because they play they play with your mind purposely to get you, like, going. Deliver me from temptation. Um, I'm scared you will not accept me now. And now that they have to be real and authentic because this little mad bullshit-ass game ain't working no more, they're nervous, they're scared because you, 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 you can see the truth, you can see the real them. That's what's happening here. I'm, I'm going to want to pull. Let's pull a love oracle on this person here. Yep, love. The silver waterfall. Now they want to heal this love. Yep, and they're, I told you this is a very creative person. This person plays a lot of mind games. Someone here, could they, they know how, yeah, that you have a very sharp mind. So they listen very keen to what you say. They'll even look up shit. They'll even study it, try to get receipts on it, on it to use it against you. What's the love oracle person from this king of presence here? What's the love oracle from this king of presence? Yep, sexuality. You don't even want them no more. It's turning you off. Yep, boundaries in reverse, but they want to knock down your boundaries. Yeah, it's turning you off. It's a turn off. It's like, why are you like this? What is this? Emotional freedom in reverse. You don't feel the same. That's another reason why it ain't working. They know it. They can feel this. Well, I'm sick of their ass already. Let's look at this new person. So whoever's resonating um, with, you know, you could, this is a new person that could be about to come in because this shit is ending. And you're sure on the universe, you're ready. Others of you guys, um, you could already be connected to this new person here. And this is just falling off the map. So let's look at this Ace of Needles, this Airbender, Geminin, Libra, and Aqua Aries here. Oh, thank you. Oh, this is the emperor. It, they match you. I'm telling you. Wow. Seven of ones. For some of you guys, this is somebody here that's going to, um, they're going to tell you they want you to cut everybody off. What's this? Yeah. Oh. Now, for some of you guys, I do see you explaining to this person. This new person, everything you went through in your past relationship with the King of Pentacles, and they could be like, I'm your King of Pentacles now. I'm your King of Presence now. You don't got to worry about that no more. Yeah, six of wands, because they want they want to be successful. This is somebody, see, death court transformation. I told you, they're going to tell you, leave this person. So for some of you guys, this person did nothing but make a new room for somebody else to sweep you off your feet. That's what it looks like that's coming in the new year, now to the new year for you, Virgo. Somebody pushed you in the arms of somebody else. 
Well, let's see. Oh, this is crazy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Hey, listen. Oh, what else we need to know when it comes? Thank you. Yep, Ten of Swords, Seven of Pentacles. Someone here could, uh, I'm going to be honest with you, this, um, you like very, like, intelligent people. You like very short people and blunt people. That's the kind of people you attract, Virgo. And this is somebody that's going to be very straightforward with you. This is somebody here, um, to be honest with you, they want... Um, a relationship. They want somebody that's going to work with them, somebody that's going to work together with them. This is also someone here that likes business. They like a business partner and they want to make sure that you are really ready here. Now, it looks like you might express something about an ex, something about that you've been through. It could be with this relationship and this person wants to make sure or wants to make sure this is done and you are truly into them because they're dead ass serious about you. Yeah, have you healed enough? Yep, six of ones because they want, they, they want a real relationship. Let's see what this person want to say to you. Mm. Oh, wait a minute. Which deck is that? Oh. This is a soulmate. All right, let's see. You like airbenders or people that have air in their chart. Somebody, and you have to watch because somebody here manipulates that. And this person could be the complete opposite. Oh, I remember the first day we met like it was yesterday. Look at this. This person really, really likes you. Whatever I see flowers are thinking you. So this is somebody that likes, they're always thinking of you. They're always shopping you. They'll pick up you flowers. This could be like little shit from the gas station. You are like an angel that came into my life to heal and nurture me. I told you. Some of you guys are earth angels. This person likes this. They like the flow. They like the energy that you are giving. Let's get a love oracle message from this person. All right, they want to use this deck. And this is somebody, and it's also creativity. But if someone here abused their power and it passed from you. Oh, this is a lot. Y'all have yin and yang energy. Let's see. What's the love oracle messages for Virgo? With this ace of needles here. I'm just knocking shit everywhere. Mm. For some of you guys, you make this person nervous, too. Their energy is very clumsy. This could be a clumsy person. Look at this. Here they come. Someone here can also tell you've been through pain. See, you've been through pain, and they want... It's like they want to, like, uh, resolve it. The very feminine. The... Oh! Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So, this is a relationship. Yeah. But this is the thing. This is after you heal. After you this. This person is coming and it could be even sent in from the universe to help you heal. Because you've healed. It's like they're taking it from this point on. Yeah, to the new year with you or something. Inner peace. Yeah. Because you have found your inner peace. Oh, Virgo. All right, let's get some signs here. We got Z. We got the sixth choir. So the sixth choir have been helping you uh, fight off these demons, these temptations. This could be that's attached to other people, especially this king of uh, presence. We have the Anunnaki, yeah. And we have D. Mm. All right, now. Let's see what's going on. Let's get an oracle. I'm seeing these cards. Ancient wisdom, you see clearly clairvoyance, yeah. For some of you guys, you can see this uh, situation clearly for what it is. Obviously, in both situations as well, it's like you, you know the truth. You're going to see and be able to know that this person is for you. This um, new person here. Mm. Yeah, because you're cleaning up shit. It's time to clean shit up. It's, it's time. Yep, you miss someone. And that's when this other person is going to miss you. And for some of you guys, you might even, you know, like, uh, I feel like this king of presence could have been somebody, whether this is a man or woman, that you never thought that you was going to, like, walk away from. But look at this. But God, though, count your blessings. Don't you just love how God works? I do. All right, guys. Let's get your sense of planets, Virgo. 
Wow. We have the 11th house aqua Aries. Oh, and Jimena. Yeah, you can you are connecting with the air sign. Yep, look at this, Virgo. Oh my gosh. Scorpio. Yeah. Um, this is a soulmate. Y'all connect through your uh your air placements. Um Y'all also could be connecting through a soulmate through your Pluto. Some of you guys could have Virgo in your Pluto. All right, Virgo. All right, okay. So, congratulations. I like it. All right, stay dope, Virgo. Um, You stay dope as hell, and I will catch you the next time you stop by in your next video upload. Don't forget to hit that bell. Hit all on both of your channels. All right, so you are tapped in and tuned in and notified when your message is available with your dope ass. I'll catch you next video upload. I'll share your name, mom.